Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we will be rebuilding and refreshing this, uh, these axles on my BMW. Uh, as you can see this, this one has seen better days. We have some corrosion going, we have uh, yeah, uh, all kind of uh, grime and uh, some sort of uh, paint uh, on it. Um, we can see there's still original boots, they're not torn but we can see that the rubber is uh, cracking. So yeah, the clips are kind of rusty, the shaft itself is a bit rusty, uh, yeah, all sorts of things are happening here, it's all nasty and dirty and you touch it and it's, you see it's dirty. So I think the first thing that we will do in the, in the, in rebuilding these is, is clean, a, clean them up, so at least we can touch them safely and <laughs> without getting too dirty. And uh, then we'll start taking it apart and uh, and then I have also some new parts here, uh, but uh, more on that uh, later on. Um, other than that, let's not waste any more time and uh, and start doing, we will make and we will go basically from from this to this. Now guys we can see the, the the better picture of the damage, we can see there's some corrosion happening, we will take off I think also the ABS ring just to clean up the rust behind it. We have all sorts of uh, layers of paint, um, there's this white primer or something, I don't know, I think it's not original as it is sprayed over the boot here. Um, I did see, yeah here. He was rubbing away on something, I'm not sure on what, uh, but it's good that we're changing both sides. Um, if we continue here, yeah, it's just all uh, not that pretty. Um, let's continue, let's start uh, taking apart, we will take off the the boot on that side, we will take take apart the, the, the actual uh, CV joint. Uh, we'll take out all the ball bearings, both cages, basically clean out everything and uh, yeah. And then we'll move on to, to this side uh, afterwards. We'll also take off the, the boot, we'll take off the bearing, or the, the bearing, the ring. Um, I don't think this, uh, this side uh, we can take off the, the ball bearings and the cage and everything, I don't think it disassembles. As you can see, uh, I have removed the the inner uh, portion of the axle, the the constant velocity joint, uh, CV joint. So what I what I did uh, or what I took off uh, was the constant velocity joint. So this is the the bad boy. Um, so this will be the the this cap will be reused. Uh, the snap ring will be new. And um, this front cap I still have to knock off and uh, this will be replaced with the new one. No need to worry about that. And then of course the boot. Uh, I think this is still original BMW part. Where's the year stamp? There's the year stamp and it's 1987. Yeah, so original boots, 30 plus years and uh, still uh, kind of intact. I mean, they are a bit uh, rusty in the, from the clips and the clips are, yeah, they could, you know, they've seen better days, <laughs> 30 plus years actually. <laughs> and then also we took off the, the ring, the ABS ring, and I'm really glad I did that because you can see all the rust that was lurking uh, behind it and uh, we'll clean it up and we will reuse it but uh, we can also see how much uh, rust was uh, sitting here in this uh, groove here 
so yeah uh, I think uh, the next step will be to take this apart and um, the manual calls for uh, making sure that the ball bearings and they go back in the, in the, in their own spot in relation to the to the cage the inner outer so I'll try to do that I'll try to keep track of it um, so yeah let's go ahead knock off this uh, other half of the of this uh, plate cover I don't know and uh, start uh, taking apart this whole thing and start cleaning it we'll clean it and then after that uh, we'll move on to cleaning cleaning this part here Cleaned up the the what do you call it the CV uh, joint. Uh, it turned out really good. Uh, there are some spots that uh, you can see the wear and tear on, but uh, nothing major, no big pitting or anything like that. So that is good. Um, we can see the spots where the 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 ball bearings uh, were riding, and it's interesting because some of them are. Uh, you see, for example, this one is much bigger compared to, for example, this one. Again, bigger, yeah, smaller, bigger. Interesting wear pattern. Um, other than that, it's uh, really good. We also cleaned up the this part here. Uh, wire wheel, uh, this old uh, paint and glue uh, later on. But we can see again where the ball bearings were uh, riding. Again, no major tear anywhere, so that's good. And also we cleaned up the little cover that we will be reusing. I will also strip down the paint from here and the wire wheel it. We'll give it a fresh coat of paint. Other than that, uh, this beast here, wire wheeled everything. Uh, I think now what I will do is I will take off the boot. We will take out all the old grease, we will uh, put some uh, diesel maybe in there just to kind of slush it around and get rid of all the old grease and uh, also i will uh, dip it into this uh, evapor rust uh, just to clean up the the rust uh, in all the grooves and so on because you can see it's it's not entirely all out um, and it's just uh, not gonna cut it with the wire wheel anyways so that's the update let's remove the boot remove the grease and dunk this uh, thing into the evapor rust I just took it out from the from the evapor rust bath and uh, it looks uh, like this basically what we need to do now is we need to clean it up uh, so uh, I have it in the vise and uh, I have here a brush and then uh, we'll just uh, wire brush it everything I think it's uh, it's really good and then it's gonna be ready for paint um, then we will also strip down this paint here uh, with some paint stripper and then we'll paint this uh, this bad boy
we finally uh, making good progress here. Uh, we messed uh, up the, the this half of the, the axle, uh, cleaned up this part here. It's all nice and good. We stripped down all the paint from the shaft itself. And then we also gave it a quick uh, rust eater just to kind of remove or neutralize some of the rust spots uh, as you can see here and there's like some small pitting here and there. And now what I will do is I will uh, yeah, wipe it down with uh, some alcohol and uh, we'll hang it. We will uh, spray a, zinc of, a coat of zinc, a coat of uh, primer. Uh, paint and then we'll uh, clear coat everything so uh, we're almost uh, ready to reassemble everything else so uh, wish me luck and uh, let's do this This is guys how it turned out, uh, it's quite nice actually, uh, really good. Uh, so what we will do now is we can actually have a quick look at the parts. Uh, so let's see what we have here. We have the new, uh, the new boot, we have the grease. We have some sealant, uh, obviously this is when you're taking apart and you need to reseal the, the inner uh, joint. And then we also have some, uh, some clips here, or clamps. And then of course we also have the new, can I focus? We also have the new circlip that goes uh, on the back here. So yeah, uh, so this is for the for the outer joint, and then we also have another box for the inner joint. And uh, what we have here, let's see. Okay, so we have more grease. We have again the clips, uh, the circlip, and the clamp. We have more sealant, and then we have the the actual. Uh, boot with the with one of the covers right and then we're using one of the covers uh, which i have there it's uh, nice and uh, cleaned up and painted and everything so really good so yeah we will start with packing the grease uh, into that side and then we will put the new parts on we'll clamp everything and then we will move on to actually assembling that whole universal joint, uh, pack it with grease and everything, we'll slap it on, we'll slap this part of course first, and we'll slap everything together, we'll apply some some sealant uh, on the cover here that mates to the, to the outer casing, and uh, that will be pretty much it, the only thing we'll have uh, left is uh, basically put the the ABS ring back on and uh, that will be it, that will be done. Quick update everyone, so we managed to put in uh, the grease, we put the boot on, we have uh, put in the, the clamps, it uh, moves quite uh, nicely, uh, I have to say. There's no binding, there's no nothing. It's nice and tight. So uh, next, uh, what we will do is we will start uh, packing uh, with grease uh, the, 
this U joint or uh, constant velocity joint, CV joint, and uh, we'll start putting it on this side. So let's continue. It's going quite well. Final product guys, uh, it went well, uh, it is a bit uh, messy job, uh, as you can see the squeeze out for the sealant is uh, sticky and gets everywhere and uh, kind of dissolves a little bit the paint also. Um, other than that uh, I put some bolts to align the holes and then uh, I clamped these together because I don't have the nut here uh, the correct size so I just used some zip ties to hold it all together. Uh, while the sealant uh, sets, put the clamp, the boot nice and uh, everything basically is really good. Uh, the only thing that is left is to put ABS ring, uh, I'll do that I think off camera, it just uh, simply slides on. So yeah, other than that uh, this is uh, almost ready to go onto the car and uh, I think, I think the next thing uh, we will be looking uh, to kind of finalize the, the rear end so we can drop it on the ground is actually to, to look at our differential here and uh, yeah. So yeah this will be the end uh, for today's video guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like the video if you enjoyed it or you found it uh, informative in any, any possible way. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.